What's up, everybody? It is Alex, the boogeyman here from Title Boxing Club in Rochester, New York, with your focus point of the week. And this week, we're going to be talking about the jab, the most important punch in all of boxing. People say it all the time, all the time. So much that people just start to repeat it, and you don't even think about why it's true anymore. But the jab really is the most important punch. You can control an entire fight with a good jab. If your jab is good, if you've got a great jab, you are the boss. Not Bruce Springsteen, not Tony Danza, you. So we're going to talk about this week how you can get a better jab. Now, first and foremost, I want to talk about when we throw the jab with other punches, what tends to happen, because the jab is not a power punch. So let's say I'm going to say, you know, throw a jab, cross, hook, cross. The jab is sort of this afterthought, even though it's the first punch there. So it's kind of like the, the jab is just a tap, just a tap, and then get into the more powerful punches. I don't want you to think of the jab as a tap. I know it's not going to be as strong as your cross or your hook or even your uppercut, but you can get that sting on it, the sting that comes from the snap. Remember, we've been talking about this for three weeks now, the whip, the whip on those punches. Everything is nice and loose. Everything is nice and loose up until that point that it whips, bring it back. You also don't want to leave that hand just like anything else. You don't want to leave that hand out there in the gym. You want to bring it back faster than you threw it out. Another thing too that can happen is sometimes people are too close to the bag for throwing the jab. The jab, one of the reasons it's so great, it's your longest range punch. So you can throw that jab from outside where you're out of range to be hit by other punches. So make sure we're getting that full extension at the end. That's gonna help that whip that I'm talking about as well. Now some of the people ask me, what does my body do when I throw the jab? Because I always talk about with hooks, you know, how you wanna shift your weight from one foot to the other, uppercuts, how you wanna lift up with your legs. What about the jab? What should your body be doing? It's true, it's not as pronounced of a movement, but it does do something. Now you remember last week, right, when I was talking about using a basketball to help those hooks and uppercuts? Well this week I've got a broom, and I'm a little further back so you can see my feet. Now imagine if you had a broom or a stick behind your head like this, all you want to do is point one side of it, the lead side of it, forward at your target. That's what your body should do on a jab. So it's a little bit of turn, not as pronounced, not as over the top as a hook where you're really getting that full rotation, a little bit of rotation. And then another thing you want to do along those lines is get your shoulder into the punch. So you've always got your hands up here by the cheeks. As soon as you throw that jab, the shoulder replaces the hand. So it's now guarding your cheek. Not only will that help protect you and keep you safe, but it's going to get more of that skeletal alignment and power behind the punch. So make sure you're replacing your hand as it extends with that shoulder, bringing that shoulder up. And you can also get that little bit of the extra turn at the very end as you bring your palm facing the ground. That can be part of that whip. All right, I'll give you one more tip for throwing a better jab. And I'll even give you a hint on what it is. You're standing on it right now. I guess if you're standing. I'm standing on it right now. It is the ground. We're going to use the ground. This is true for every punch, but true for the jab as well. Pushing off the ground. The ground is a source of power beneath your feet. By pushing off of it, you will get more power. So if I'm throwing my jab, my back leg, my rear leg, for me it's my right leg, is going to push a little bit off the ground to help snap that punch out there. I'm driving with that foot. You don't want to go crazy and you don't want to straighten the back leg, but you do want to push off the ground to get that extra bit of power. Every little bit counts. Every bit, little bit helps. Your technique's going to get better. You just keep following that sweet science. Really try to follow it this week when it comes to jab. Think about your jab. Don't just lose it in a long combination like it's just a means to an end. No, really think about that jab. Think about making it better. Think about those tips that I mentioned, which is for one, you know, making sure that our arm is extended when we hit it, making sure we're turning our hips, getting our shoulder behind the punch, making sure we're pushing off the ground, making sure that we, we get that whip at the end, that most important whip as we bring it back. All those things, if you can do those, if you can do those just a little bit better, your jab's going to get so much better. Your technique's going to get so much better. Everything's going to get so much better because technique, of course, we all know it. Technique is everything.